Hello everyone. Welcome to Market Wrap with Raja. I am a trading influencer and I've been in the market for more than 15 years. I'm happily married with a loving wife and I have an energetic son keeps me on the run just like the markets. Well, it's an expiry day today and uh, the markets have given its fair share of volatility. But then let's see how uh, I can help you with my knowledge skills and trading skills to help all the people who are watching this video to get some perspective on how the market has panned out and what can we look forward for the day tomorrow. Okay, so let's get down into the first chart of uh, today's session, which is the Nifty. You can see here that these are the uh, Nifty charts which I have uh, shown on the screen right now. And you can see that the Nifty continues to hold out these zones at lower levels. Lower levels continue to be around the 10,450 to 10,500 zone. And uh, the Nifty prices are refusing to move outside this uh, modified pitchfork, which I have drawn on the charts. As you can see here, let me just expand it for you. You can see here that lower levels are around 10,500 and higher levels are uh, much way beyond. So you can expect some overhead resistance around this turbulence zone, which is around the 10,850 mark, which is coinciding with this gap area to your left. You can see here, so roughly around this area, you could continue to experience some selling pressure. And uh, I envisage that this is going to be the nature of markets for the forthcoming days. So with that being the scenario, let's try and look at uh, the kind of uh, support levels which we had drawn out yesterday and how it has played beautifully to ensure that uh, all my viewers out there were able to generate some positive traction on the Nifty. Okay. So the overall setup continues to remain positive and uh, the lower levels on the daily charts continue to be around 10,500 to 550 zone, higher levels around 10,850. So you can expect that this could be the range which you can track on the Nifty. Let's now go into the intraday charts. These are the intraday charts for you. You can see here, this was a setup which was drawn yesterday. We had seen this trend line breakdown coming down around this zone, this support zone. You can see the support zone. This was uh, highlighted as a high, which had now become a support for a, this ongoing trend and the pullbacks around this area. You can see this. There is a nice shadow being formed here. And on the intraday charts, there is a continuous attempt to move higher. So higher bounds, if this trend line were to act as a resistance, the strong upside too has got a potential to move towards 10,900 on the upside. So that's the max ra rally which uh, I am anticipating. So 850 to 900 is the max rally which can happen on uh, the Nifty. That is what the whole setup is pointing to. And on the downside, we have got a support around 10,550. So this continues to be the range to uh, watch out for for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of the week trading week so we could expect that uh, there could be some continued mild uh, movement on either side and we should continue to look for uh, some range bound opportunities uh, which are going to emerge tomorrow so with that being the case we are not anticipating any aggressive movement on the nifty well let's go down to uh, bank nifty and see what is the kind of setup which is emerging you can see here this was the uh, pitchfork which i had drawn this pitchfork played out quite well and you can see here the power of pitchfork. Let me just demonstrate to you the power of pitchfork and how well it has played a part today. So if I were to do on an intraday chart, okay, this is an intraday chart. Okay, let me uh, expand the chart a little bit. You can see here, I will uh, do something called as a bar replay. And I will begin the day from here, which is today. So you can see here that as the day began to unfold, you can see that uh, it went beneath the pitchfork, but it went for a brief while towards the 21,000 zone. If everyone recalls, 21,000 zone was a support area which uh, I had highlighted yesterday. You can see here. Once it hit 21,000 mark, I said that below 21,000, we should consider that there could be some uh, bearish uh, sentiment emerging 
in uh, Bank Nifty. That didn't happen, and uh, the Bank Nifty managed to pull back itself quite well towards the end of the day. And today we had a lot of bit of movement. The day began with IT. We'll come to IT in some time. Then the focus shifted to the metals, and then the focus shifted back once again to the banks. You can see here the way bank has responded. It seems to be quite well poised. You can see here there is a nice hammer formation. First you had an inverted hammer, then you had a hammer formation at the supports. So maybe Bank Nifty is trying to give us some clue. So we got to see whether this clue is going to work. It is always very difficult to predict when the market is challenging. It's in a range bound scenario. But then if you try to take help of candlestick patterns and you try to take help of line tools like pitchfork it does give you a fair amount of insight so that's what you need to do you need to combine the uh, power of various technical analysis tools combine it with price action so that you get a complete picture so now if you take a look at uh, the way the indices are set up in bank you can see here that they have come down to the neutral zone on the rsi and once they are at the neutral zone of the RSI, you can see that there could be a possibility of revival here. So what we are looking at in the market is a revival in bank nifty. And if that were to happen, so the overall setup does look promising. After a dip down to 21,000, prices have quickly rebounded back to 21, about 21,500. So it's a key zone which has uh, been reclaimed, so to say. So the overall prospects suggest that Bank Nifty is the index to watch out for. And if that were to happen, it was an index to watch out for yesterday. It broke down below key supports and it has reclaimed it back and on an EOD basis. So now if everything looks good and uh, so somewhere, let's go down to the intraday to get a better picture. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going down to the intraday. And uh, on the intraday, I am seeing that, yes, see, you can see here, these are the supports, uh, the lower bounds, which was there at the start of the series. Prices dip back once again at those levels, and it has found some genuine buying opportunity there. So there were some buying opportunity around these zones. So you can uh, estimate that 21,000 is a key level now in Bank Nifty. And unless that is really violated, you should continue to have a buy on dip opportunity in Bank Nifty and that's what we have seen. We have seen a nice recovery here. You have seen on the daily charts also. So what I found interesting is uh, on the um, intraday charts, I decided to uh, apply the concept of uh, Fibonacci ratios. And I found that uh, around the 21,000 zone, you are having an additional support from the 50% retracement mark. So around the 50% retracement zone, is an additional support which has been offered. So now when you consider that as a additional buying opportunity for you, so those who want to take a long opportunity, take a action on the long side, so this could be a very good zone. So the first stop which you can look forward for tomorrow is around 21,250. A sacrifice of 21,250 would again be a retest of 21,000. So this is what are the two levels on the bank nifty upside once again continues to be around 22,000. So that is my take on the bank nifty. Now let's go down to uh, CNX IT. The index is uh, definitely in demand and the way the nifty IT has uh, propelled itself. We have been seeing in all our uh, previous videos, those who have not watched the analysis of nifty IT go and uh, take a look at the videos which have been analyzed. Uh, where uh, I have analyzed the Nifty IT itself and uh, we have been uh, along a Nifty IT from 15,000. It's gone up 2,000 points uh, upwards. And those who were uh, watching this video and have taken uh, trades on those would definitely have made a decent gain. So now, yesterday, we were talking about highs around 16,700 uh, to 900 as a key level to watch out for. So what has really happened here? You can see here, these are the zones somewhere in April 2019. It was There was a retest in Feb 2020. And now, five months down the line, there is a nice gap up opening beyond the zone. 
However, if we zoom in a little bit, what we have here, let me just, uh, I just highlighted this high because it was a retest of the high. So you can see here, there is a nice doji formation. There is some dissipation in the upward drive. So we need to see whether the up thrust or the strong upward drive in CNX IT, is it an end or it's just taking a pause and it could range around these zones. So the key level to watch out for, so if uh, would be around uh, 16,600 on the downside. So unless 16,600 is given away quickly, you can expect that some range bond action can emerge here and prices can travel further. So the giveaway, okay, the giveaway is that the RSI continues to be on the positive side. So there is no let up in momentum. So the overall prospects continues to be bullish and Nifty ID would definitely be much more positive than uh, what you are anticipating. However, the overall setup looks like there has been heavy profit booking in all uh, leadership stocks. So we need to watch out for some bit of dips to go in, go long into. So you can see here, there is a gap zone here. 16,500 mark is the next set of support. There is a gap fill possibility. So one should wait for some pullback around this zone if they were to go long in any IT stock or any, especially the IT majors. This time IT majors have taken a big leap and they are leading from the front. That's why you can see here the Nifty IT has really shot up. So a pullback in Nifty IT, 16,500 or even towards uh, 16,000 would be a good dip. It would not uh, dent the bullish potential in uh, CNX IT. So one should uh, await some dips because the trend is getting stretched at the moment. So I would wait for a dip in uh, IT stocks to go long into. So that was the uh, analysis on uh, all the indices. I'm sure that uh, you have been gaining some uh, bit of understanding. You're also able to understand how to position yourself in the market. I would like you to share, subscribe and comment to our uh, channel. You can share the videos in uh, all the groups, etc. wherever you would like to. And I would also like you all to comment on uh, our video. Your feedbacks are very valuable to us and it will help us to uh, introspect the indices better and also show you various kinds of ways to look into the whole markets and also share with you various insights on how to approach it for a profitable trading. So with that, I come to an end of today's session. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.